welcome to your bi-weekly love forecast from September 1st through the 15th, 2018. I hope you guys are all doing well and your summers are going well. Your winters, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, are all going well. I am the Good, the Bad, and the Tarot here to bring you your bi-weekly love messages and energies for the time period listed below in the description. So for your reading today, I'm using the Modern Spellcasters Tarot by Melanie Marquis. As my primary tarot deck, I will be clarifying cards with the Everyday Oracle also known as the Vera Sibilla Italiana. And then at the end of your reading, I'll be pulling a guidance message from the beautiful Butterfly Oracle Cards for Life Changes by Doreen Virtue. So if that sounds good, let's go ahead and get started with your reading, Sagittarius. Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading. Let's go ahead and get started. And this reading is for all Sag suns, moons, risings, Sages on the house cusp, as well as if you have your Venus and Sagittarius. Spirit, what are the bi-weekly love messages and energies that you'd like to share with Sagittarius for the time period of September 1st to the 15th, 2018? What do they need to know regarding their love lives from September 1st to the 15th, 2018? For all Sages out there that may be watching, Sun, Sag Moon, Sag Rising, Sagittarius on the house cusp, and Venus and Sagittarius. For Sagittarius, September 1st through the 15th, 2018. <clears throat> oh, we're getting stuck here. Let me do one more because there was a that was kind of a weird trouble. There we go. Want to get through all the cards, make sure all the cards are shuffled. Alright. And we're gonna look at your current situation. What is helping or hindering you? This is also what may be a challenge for you. What has put you here? Your thoughts and feelings. Your recent past, your near future. At the bottom of the deck, we have the devil. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn, although um, the devil does represent attachments, commitment, things we're bound to. Things that we feel um, chain us and bind us, addictions, obsessive thinking. Um, it sometimes can indicate physical lust. Um, usually it's something that feels good to us, but we know that we shouldn't be doing it. It can also indicate codependency or even some kind of addict addiction, such as, um, well, any addiction that creates codependency upon a substance or a person. Ten of Wands in reverse underneath that. So. Um, it seems like after you put down a burden, stop doing something that feels burdensome, after, it could also be regarding a relationship. For example, you stop seeing that person, you no longer um, want to, to carry the burden of the relationship, you no longer want to carry the relationship. There's something there that creates a, an attachment or an addiction, or there's a cycle here, okay? It could be... It's just asking you to examine your behavior. What in your life is like the devil? What, what in your life is hard to resist? Um, what in your life is beckoning you to do something that, that you know you shouldn't be doing, but you do it anyway? And again, this can be anything from obsessive thinking, ob obsessing over something or someone, um, addictions, codependency. It's very powerful influence. I've gotten this card before and realized that, um, I mean, I'll just, be, I'll just be frank. You know, I don't smoke, but... I've gotten this card in that same position before and all of a sudden I was like, I need to have a cigarette. Now, I really don't smoke, I don't smoke currently. So, I'm just saying, it can it can bring up things that from our past as well that we used to do. So you just need to be mindful when that influence is there. I really recommend burning sage, you know, um, using a crystal, you can use crystals as healing gemstones and so forth to help clean your environment, clear your energy. Um, and just, it's, it's, it just very, it's just, you need to be aware of what you're doing because this can often bring up addic addictive behaviors and that kind of thing. So let's take a look at your cards. We have the Knight of Wands. That's definitely your energy. I'd like to see you coming up in your, your own, uh, reading. 
in that position very strong. Six of Wands in the challenge position. What does put you here? We have the Page of Swords in reverse. Your thoughts and feelings are the Three of Wands in reverse. Your recent past is the Temperance, also your card, very nice. And then your future, we have the Five of Swords in reverse. Okay. All right, so Sagittarius, you walk into September with the Knight of Wands. I'm seeing adventure, passion, travel, um, definitely movement. Um, I feel also that um, this can be a new passionate love interest that you're interested in. There's a lot of energy here. It's, it's very upbeat, it's very positive. Um, some of you are being adventurous and playful in love. I don't see this as um, an energy of someone who's very serious that wants to settle down. It's more about wanting to play the field and explore and have fun while you're doing so. Um, and I could be speaking to a male or female, it really doesn't matter. Um, but um, in a challenge position, we have a six of wands. So a really interesting card, and I'm also sensing that where you are, it could be fall, because I'm seeing all the orange and the gold trees, so there could be, you know, with the fall foliage here, the blue skies and the, the, the leaves turning, so um, just think about where you are in terms of your location. But I'm seeing here that the challenge for you is some kind of recognition. Now, I, the Six of Wands can indicate, you know, being publicly validated, feeling like you won, like you conquered. It's like, I came, I saw, I conquered. So, in the challenge position, it's like, you want to be seen and heard and recognized. You also, this can be attention-seeking behavior to some degree. So, you want to watch out for that. Um, but I feel like... She's very proud in this picture, and she's got a lot of people who are rooting for her. Um, this is someone who feels like you know they deserve a, a great deal of attention and admiration. So this is something that you that you want. This is one of your goals: is to kind of be seen, be heard, you know, be publicly validated, etc. This can be with regards to your social circle or or people you know or people that you work with, but. That seems to be in the challenge for you, so there could also, this can also indicate in the challenge position that the issue is with regards to dishonor, someone being disloyal, someone not um, standing up, or not being honorable, um, someone dishonoring or not giving you attention, someone doing this on purpose possibly, um, but it, it is coming up in the fire sign energy, so that seems to be your challenge. Um, I always say, you know, you don't need other people to validate you and what you do, your existence, etc. Um, it does, it does feel, it does feel nice, especially with with regards to social media when people like what we do and um, give us the thumbs up and the hearts and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, it's what you feel inside is uh, feeling good inside, you know. So, um, at the root of the situation, we have the Page of Swords in reverse. So either you're dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or the Page of Swords reverse is usually some kind of third-party information. It can indicate spying. This can be, for example, someone who also, um, I guess they can be spying. They can be, they can be involved in some kind of um, espionage like that, for example. But also it can be that this is someone who not only do they not have, know how to speak or talk to people, they can be extremely rude, they can say things that are very hurtful, they may even gossip or betray someone's secrets. So you have to be very careful because this is what is leading to you being very playful, very adventurous, very flamboyant, really putting yourself out there. So it could be that you heard something, you saw something, there was gossip, there's, there's third party information, so you just need to be careful where are where you're coming from and what is it that your goal, what is it that you're after. Um, if you're after some kind of recognition, victory, etc. Um, so in the past we have temperance, which is your card, very nice. I'm seeing experimenting, I'm seeing also like trying to find a balance, trying to find a consensus. In terms of feelings, it's more like lukewarm feelings. Um, you were trying different things out, you are definitely experimenting, finding what works, what doesn't work. Here we have the 
um, Hermie is mixing the two substances together. It could be wine and, and water or whatever, oil and water. But you're, you're trying to find some kind of consensus here. Also, I see healing. I do. I see a lot of healing. I see achieving peace. Really, like, being in your own element. You kind of come out of that full force, feeling very good, very adventurous, very playful, um, very flamboyant. And after some kind of attention or after you know, being approved, validated, etc. by, you know, maybe your social circle, friends, family, etc. So just be careful with this page here. He is in the foundation and pages in reverse can be troublemakers in terms of their communication, etc. Thoughts and feelings, we have the three of wands in reverse. Yeah, so you may be feeling like, um, Hesitant to plan, make plans, long-term plans. This can also indicate that plans have fall, fallen through. There's a lack of long-term vision here, so it's asking you to um, be more thoughtful about, you know, we want you to have a vision. We want you to be visionary. What are your long-term goals? Think long-term. Here's someone who has no desire to think long-term. They're all about, what can I get right this moment? Like, for example, someone who just, well, I'm just going to put it out there, and I'm not saying this is you, you, but someone who just wants to get laid, someone who just wants the one-night stand, someone who just wants the attention, but they don't have, they're not thinking long-term, or they don't have long-term vision, so it's asking you to really grow and expand and think long-term. This can also indicate long-term travel, etc. Um, this may indicate feeling that some plans have fallen through in terms of travel, foreign investments, um, even things that take place overseas, etc. Okay, now you may also not be waiting for someone to come back as well because I sometimes see this as a card of waiting for your ships to come in. So here it's like you're not waiting anymore, you're just going to go go after what you want and, you know, blow caution to the wind, which is I guess, good. Just be careful, you know. So in the near future, you have the Five of Swords in reverse. This is the time after fighting. Okay, there has been some kind of conflict by this point. This will be the middle of September. Now what I'm seeing is there is definitely been a winner and a loser, but at, this, at the same time, there was a battle here. There was a fight. There were words exchanged, and there is no winner. There is no winner. And not only is there no winner, no one wants to be the first to apologize. So this is, there's a need for mediation, there's a need, what mediation is, is the time after fighting, the time after conflict. There's a need to come back and say, you know what, I realize I was wrong, or um, the other person's saying, I realize how I was wrong, and how can we, you know, how can we fix this? Well, it seems that no one wants to apologize, and there's a lot of hurt and a feeling of being defeated. So, that's what I'm saying, and it seems that if you're dealing with an air sign or someone who is very sharp with their words, um, this can be someone that's spying on you or someone that has, you know, is spreading gossip, rumors, etc. Um, while I feel like the fighting and conflict is over, it seems that there's been a lot of hurt in the process and people are, you know, there's no winner here. There's been no good result from this. So, like I said, just be careful. What you put out there, um, what you're projecting, you know, I wouldn't, it's not a good time to maybe seek validation from others, uh, seek it from within yourself, you know what I mean? But um, let me go ahead and, let's go ahead and uh, clarify some of these cards. I want to look at the knight and the page here. What is this knight of wands? What do we need to know about the knight of wands? Sagittarius's current situation. What do we need to know about this Nine of Wands in Sagittarius's current situation? We have a solid bond union or alliance. So the nuptials can indicate an agreement. This can be <clears throat> a union. It can be between two people who are lovers, for example, in a relationship. It can also be, we have the man putting the ring on the woman's finger here, um, some kind of alliance. It doesn't have to be romantic. It can be romantic. Um, but I do feel like there's an attraction there and someone wanting to put, to someone wanting to be in union with someone else, or there's an alliance here. What else do we need to know about this Knight of Wands? 
money. There is money involved. Um, this can be also an alliance involving gain, investments, or inheritance. But someone here is, I feel like the Knight of Wands is not, um, he's not a queen, he's not a king. So this is someone that can be a little bit reckless sometimes. They can be um, a bit carefree, um, very adventurous, but um, maybe not so serious about settling down. We have depression. I'm seeing a woman here who's going through some kind of melancholy or sadness. All right, so we want to clarify the Page of Swords in reverse. Who is this Page of Swords in reverse? What do we need to know about this Page of Swords? What do we need? We have a delirious. So the, these are stupid actions and foolish behavior. Someone here is... It could be talking smack. Someone is 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 acting full, going out, getting drunk, partying, etc. Foolish behavior is just that, and you know, stupid actions and foolish behavior, recklessness, can lead to damaging situations. So, who is this Page of Swords in reverse? Who or what is this Page of Swords? And someone could be spying on this person or finding out about something. We have a child here. This can be the birth or growth of a new project or an idea. It can be a new beginning, but it can also represent someone's child as well, or someone being childish. Um, and we have, the, again, the Alegria, celebrating with friends and family, etc. So I basically see someone here who's going out and celebrating, having fun, they may have a child. There could also be some kind of new project or beginning in their life. And I do feel like there's they're celebrating with friends and family. Um, but the child can also be someone who's very naive, okay? And they may be expect they may be expecting to be, you know, um, treated like an adult, but they really come across as someone who is like, a, I'm seeing like a man child, or like, it can even be, a, it could even be, um, you know, the other gender, it could be female, but I'm seeing a man here, and I'm seeing a new beginning in this person's life, but I, I feel like um, they can be a bit reckless, you know, this person can also be spying, or or doing something, or saying something, or spreading rumors, etc. Okay. So we want to also know, I want to, I just want to know why this Five of Swords is here. Why is the Five of Swords coming up reversed? We've got the lover. Okay, so this is the shy woman who hides her feelings. Someone here still has feelings, but they're not coming forward. They, have, they may have to hide their feelings. Female lover. Why is the Five of Swords coming up reversed in Sagittarius's future? Why is the Five of Swords here, please, in reverse in Sagittarius's future? Just hoping to get one more card. We have the Thief, someone up to no good. This can be someone involved in. Lost goods, robbery, or fraud. Someone here is sneaking around. Um, someone who's being fraudulent. Someone who's not who they say they are. Uh, this can also be someone who's like a liar, thief, cheater, taking something that's not theirs, robbing someone. Um, yes, it can indicate a loss of some kind or someone who's being fraudulent. Whatever they're doing, it's they're sneaky. They're being sneaky. Why is the Five of Swords coming up reverse in Sagittarius' future? It seems like he's sneaking away from her. That's what I'm seeing. That's how I read the cards. Where is this thief going? Let's see. Where is this thief headed? Where is this thief going? Misfortune. Mm. Very serious or destructive event. So this is similar to a tower situation. 
Um, it could be a man leaving his wife. It could be a man leaving his lover. It could be someone cheating on someone, involved in some kind of fraud. But uh, it's leading towards a very serious or destructive event and it's some kind of a loss here. Um, okay, so, yes, definitely need to be careful who you are dealing with, especially when the thief comes up. We've got money as a central issue here. It seems like there could be a child involved and also I'm seeing someone here who could be in some kind of a union or alliance, etc. Um, this could be a situation where your reputation is on the line. This could be a situation where, um, you know, uh, you're dealing with someone that has the potential to dishonor, betray the team, etc. Not acting, not being a good leader, etc. So um, this this is actually making it even more necessary for you to, to demonstrate good leadership, demonstrate honorable intentions, and, and really be careful with, 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 especially with the Knight of Wands here, with your actions, what you do say in front of public, in the public, etc., in the public eye. Okay, I'm going to leave that there, and we're going to go ahead and look at your guidance message from the Butterfly Oracle. What is Sagittarius's guidance, please, from September 1st through the 15th, 2018? What do they need to know, Spirit? Please help guide them on their highest virtual path in love and in light for Sagittarius. September 1st. A couple cards came out here. Um, I'll take the one on the top. We have Keep the Faith. Here. It's a short message. Now is the time to keep the faith. Some of the changes, <clears throat> some of the changes you've experienced, Sagittarius, have been challenging, and this card urges you to keep your faith in divine intervention and positive outcomes, so staying positive. After all, lapsing into pessimism won't help the situation, right? And we have a card here of someone who, um, I'm seeing someone here who can go into depression. Or it may be regarding money, it could be regarding an alliance or a union here. Alright, and this person may have their reputation on the line. They may, um, you know, that could be part of it as well. Okay, so... <clears throat> They want you to keep your faith in divine intervention and positive outcomes. After all, lapsing into pessimism won't help the situation. Faith can come in many forms, such as reconnecting with God through prayer, or if you don't believe in God, source, if you don't believe in source, love, um, whatever keeps you on believing in that higher, we, we want to tap into your crown chakra here, okay, crown chakra and connecting with the divine you know, um, connecting uh, through source to source through prayer or reviewing all the times when everything worked out for the best. So this is about focusing on what worked instead of focusing on what didn't work, right? We want to stay away from negative, repetitive thinking. Faith is an inner knowing that your experiences, Sagittarius, are purposeful and that you'll have a happy ending, which is true. Additional meanings, spiritual or religious study, a spiritual or religious community, prayer and vigil, optimism, hope, and positive outlook. So it makes me think of that song by George Michael, you gotta have faith, you gotta have faith, faith, faith. And I really feel like staying positive during challenging times, thinking about what worked as opposed to focusing on what didn't work, this can really help you get through this period of time and um, bring more positivity into your life. So now is actually a good time. If you are involved in a spiritual practice, um, you know, I always recommend, I, I have a few uh, oracle decks that have really helped me. This Rumi oracle is, I keep this on my bedside table and I will pull a card when I'm feeling lost, when I'm feeling like I need that extra guidance. Um, these um, butterfly oracle cards are wonderful as are, there's just so much out there that can be helpful. Um, 
of course, if you want some resources, I am here to help. Um, I do have um, uh, other resources such as connections to life coaches. Um, I have connections to um, other people that can do healing work and so forth. So if this is something that you're interested in, definitely reach out. And of course, I am available to do private readings. My information is below the description, my personal website, my scheduling app, which will take you to um, all my services listed there. Sagittarius, I send you off with many blessings, love and light. I do hope this, um, I hope this resonated. If it didn't, um, do leave me a comment. Let me know um, how it resonates for you. And of course, take good care of yourselves, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.